All right, and that brings us to our top story. Blum, blum, blum. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> we can all add our own little riffs. The Video Game Awards for 2014. And I almost wanted to stay away from it just because I always think of these as these weird political things. And They these, try to be relevant. Yeah, and, and it's like, it's so... Every single time they do one of these, it's like, we're really hip. And it's like, no. You're yeah, that's not. like, like when they, what? Why did you just add Samuel Jackson, didn't they? It was just like. <laughs> so it's, it's like kind of. Like, he can normally make anything cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of try to stay away from him, but it's, you know, it, it happened and there's a lot of coverage for it. So yeah. I think it was worth talking about. And I found the. We can pull it up if you want the link. Thank you. And the, <laughs> so there's a. Force pull. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what's going on is they, they had their top five and I didn't agree with it. Now that's the whole thing about lists, right? Yeah. People make a list and nobody's going to agree with it. it but I wanted your take on it. And I'll start out by just announcing it. They, there were five options for game of the year. Yeah. The options are Bayonetta 2, Dark Souls 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, Hearthstone, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now those, those that's what it was, you know. What are you gonna do? I thought, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea for the three of us to uh, come up with our own lists. Can we do top threes instead of top fives? Top top fives. Because they, they so, did top five. First what? question I have about this list: Didn't like three of these games come out in the last two months? Yes, they did. Good job, sir. All right. <laughs> including their game of the year, which is Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, so the game that won was Dragon Age Inquisition. I thought we could all pick our top, what we think the top fives would be if we wanted. And, and would, you, would you start us politically, I, Correct, sir? <laughs> I will start you off. And uh, all, as always, these are always con, you know, controversial and no, nobody and, ever agrees. And there are, what, a, subjective. subjective? Subjective, absolutely. Here's my opinion. <laughs> I got five. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay. Destiny. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Dark Souls 2. And Far Cry 4. Okay. Those would be my, my picks. And f the one that I think would have won or should have won, I have a hard time between them. But I would either pick Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U uh -huh. or Destiny. Destiny, I don't know if it was the best game that came out, but I haven't remembered a game for a long time that's made the waves that Destiny has made. And they've really paved the way for a fut the future of how games are played in the new generation. I think it was the biggest game of the year by far for me. So go ahead, whoever wants to go next. You want to I'll go. go. Okay. So it's safe best for last. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Well, the best already happened. <laughs> oh, <God>. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that's it. So, show. See you later. <laughs> this actually is kind of sad. I've probably only played three video games this year. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't played all the games sorry. I mentioned. Sorry. So, it, and this game didn't release this year, but it was out during this year. World of Warcraft missed the Pandaria. Oh, my God. What the fuck? That game was out for like three years. <laughs> oh, my God. Then why is it <laughs> game of the year? <laughs> because I played it all year. <laughs> Because it was still out this year. So, um, We're adding our own rules to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny. Okay, let me change my answer to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Shit. Destiny. Uh, and World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. Why can't you Two just say, the fucking why can't same you just say game? Warlords of Draenor? Yeah. <laughs> Duty. Because, all right. So either way, those are the three games that I played this year. <laughs> <laughs> I got no words. Like, All right, well, I, see, because I was about to say something really mean, and I'm like, not on there. <laughs> I can't do it. Like that's mean. It's very yeah. I, All right. Well, I just got. Well, see, here's the thing. I just got a console. Okay. Like two, three months ago, and I got a PS3. So I didn't even get like a new gen system. And Destiny was the that game took up probably two, three months. Miss Pandaria took up like six months because I was actually competing in arenas and, and raiding and stuff. I was yeah, competitively doing, doing that. the whole thing. Shabbat. And then uh, Warlords Draenor just released like a month ago. So I've been doing nothing but that. So yeah. my year has been pretty much soaked up between those three. And I'm very much so when I play games, I can only do one at a time. Yeah. 
Only <sighs> one can really sap your energy, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually trying to pull up the list because I can't think of five off the top because I don't agree with a majority of this. Um, I will say number one is Dragon Age Inquisition. Game has been out only for a short amount of time, but everyone agrees it when you compare it to Dragon Age 2, like waves of improvements. They totally made the game way better, more immersive. He's even playing it. What the fuck, right? Uh, <laughs> what the dick? <laughs> but it's it's so much, so much so a better game um, than its uh, predecessor. And it's just, it, there's so much added to it. And I, I'm actually playing through it now. The minute I beat the game, I literally started it up again on harder difficulty. And I, I already have uh, almost 30 hours in on that one. And the other one was 70 hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck, right? Um, <clears throat> two, drag, er, Dragon Age. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> um, Dark Souls 2. And the reason why I picked Dark Souls 2 is because people fail to realize the importance of games that don't hold your hand. Dark Souls 2 holds your hand more than Dark Souls 1 does, but that's not really saying that much. Um, there's a little bit more context clues somewhat as far as like what the story's about and things like that and how the gameplay works, but it's definitely not... Uh, it's definitely a, a game that should people should push to be more like, to, to better emulate. Because not holding your hand, that's the type of shit. Like, why do you think so many like YouTubers, for instance, will turn on like Dark Souls too? Because it's an experience, and they want to they want to see how one person experienced it. That's why they get all those crazy views and shit. And the Dark Souls like community can be really critical sometimes. I've seen some guys get reamed because they suck at the game, you know, and they're doing a let's play on it. Um, mm -hmm. Number three, shit. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> um, can you pull up? the uh, Game Awards one. Oh, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. I really want to fucking play this game. I have not played this game for the record, but holy shit, if the game doesn't look polished, well done, and enjoyable as dick. <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> it just looks super intense. Like We'll talk after this in the bathroom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like it looks super like fun. Like you honestly want to be a part of it now. Um, four and five. Like I really don't have a four and five. Uh, the only thing I can really <laughs> Eric only had two games. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What the shit? Um, but I will argue with ah, crap. I will argue. Is it scrolling? It's not. Oh, it is. People. <sighs> okay, I don't know if we can even talk about this. Because it's so, like, risque. But I really don't like the awards. No, I think they're dumb. Period. I, I think they're dumb. He thinks they're dumb. <clears throat> Eric, you think they're dumb? Yep. There we go. They're dumb. And here's why. Because the biggest reason why is because, like, no one cares. No one even, half the people don't even know how this stuff even came to be. What is this based off of votes? Or is it based off of just, like, their opinions? More or less, like, a, a select group of people. You know, how does it work? Um, <laughs> but the thing is though, is no one really knows for sure, like how it's done. No one knows how this stuff comes to be. It just, it's more, uh, overrated, overhyped, glossy, um, ceremony just to show off a couple games. And a lot of it is mainstream anyway. Dragon Age, EA, uh, okay. Best independent games. That's probably the Best little section right there. Developer of the year. They actually had the balls to put Ubisoft in there. You're out of your fucking mind. Uh, <laughs> okay, best narrative. That is a nice thing. They had best online experience, which we both talked about. It had to have been just catered to like, Does that mean, because shouldn't it just be best multiplayer? Why does that have to be best online experience? Exactly, right? Like, in particular, the online experience, though. It just sounds like it was made for a particular uh, game. Catered yeah. to one game. How is Dragon Age going to compete It'd be with like that? like saying... Uh, How is Dark Souls going to compete with that? Best racing game catered towards children. Exactly. <laughs> best kart racer. <laughs> oh, I wonder. The one with the name in it? Mario Kart? It's not Crash Team Racing. That's for damn sure. You know, oh, like... I missed it. That was a fucking badass game. I actually got it. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah. I forgot I downloaded that. But... See, game, of game of the year. Game of the year. But see, that's the thing. Um, 
when when you look at what they added on here, like they have Bayonetta two, and I honestly think Bayonetta two is a good game, but it's literally Devil May Cry three repackaged in a different thing. It's a it's a silly story with terrible acting. It's just the gameplay is really good. That's it. Should it be nominated for Game of the Year? Probably not. Uh, same thing. Hearthstone. I don't want to insult anybody. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people like it, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I really just agree with that. It's a little too casual. It's a little opinionated regardless, but it's... I mean, I don't mean to insult anybody, and no, none of us do. Yeah. But, but of course, the it's going to generate a lot of controversy. Yeah, don't kill us. So tell us... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep talking about it. Remember to hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh subscribe, and tell your friends. I'm Spencer. And I'm Justin. And this is The Itch. Thanks for watching. See you later! <laughs>